We got more clips from OTAs, and today we're going to be looking at the Buffalo Bills and getting another look at Keon Coleman. We're going to watch him catch some balls, work through some drills. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're going hard in the paint, looking at these rookies every single day from rookie camp to OTAs, mini camp, training camp, on top of your favorite veterans all throughout the offseason. We're seeing what they're doing behind the scenes at practice and at workouts. You need to click that button. Stop missing out on what your favorite players are doing. We're looking at Keon Coleman today. I got clips from today's practice from Buffalo Plus. And on top of that, other clips from other practices as well. So the first set is from them. And the rest says what I had previously. So we're going to look at all that. Talk some ball on Keon Coleman. Talk some ball on OTAs and whatever else. But he moves very fluidly for his size. Fluid for his size. For his size, what I mean by that is bigger wide receivers are not meant to break off routes like a Justin Jefferson. He's a guy who's meant to get downfield, post it up at the catch point. So you cannot expect Justin Jefferson-like things with a Keon Coleman type of build and game. His game is different. His game is strong, snatchy hands at the catch point, gets elevated, and when the ball's up in the air, he's going to win it when it comes time to box out. That's what he does. Has good ball skills. Reads the ball with perfect timing. He's very sure of himself. He's very aggressive. And you watch the ball hit his hands. It just sticks right in there. Especially when he gets it away from his body. And he usually catches it away from his body. He's able to turn it up like a dime upfield. Because he's able to do that. In the drills at the combine. He ran what 20 plus miles per hour. The 40 didn't do so hot. It doesn't matter. He got drafted high enough. He can break off routes. He can do that. It's not 100% consistent like it would be for like some of the smaller wide receivers. But I would say this, compared for his size, he does it all right. And there is moments in his film study where you see that. It's not as consistent. It's harder for a bigger wide receiver. Him getting downfield, him finding his spot, getting to the boundary, Elevating, making the catch, those sticky hands. That's his game. That's what we expect. And he's nasty at it. He's nasty at the catch points. And he clicks well with Josh Allen. He clicks well with his offense with what they want to do. They want to be aggressive downfield. They want to push the ball downfield. Josh Allen wants to do that. He wants to be the top quarterback in air yards. Pushing the ball downfield. Pushing those deep targets. Those deep pass attempts. And you got a guy like Ken Coleman who fits well with this team and with what they want to do with this offense because he excels at getting vertical, huge catch radius, nasty at the catch point. Get down there, he's down there somewhere. Josh Allen throws it up. That's what they want to do. They showed that. He's an upgrade over Gabe Davis already. Doesn't take that much to be an upgrade over him. He's already an upgrade, especially once he's acclimated to the NFL game. Especially, that should be within a few weeks of the NFL season. Back end of the NFL season, somewhere in his rookie season, you'll see the upgrade. Maybe early year two, somewhere around there. It's going to happen. Moves better, stickier hands, gets downfield quicker. Nastier at the catch point. Everything Gabe Davis did, he can do better. That's the thing about that. That's why he was drafted higher. That's why people were talking about him all offseason long. That's why people were talking about him all college season long. That's why he went off against LSU. He did well with two different collegiate programs. Broke out twice pretty much. Hands are nasty. And now you're paired with Josh Allen. And the thing about Keon Coleman. During the draft process, I was iffy on him. If you remember during the rookie rankings for these wide receivers... I was 100% set on stone. Because, you know what, if you paired him with like a Dak Prescott or a more conservative quarterback when it comes to pushing the ball downfield, it would not have been a great marriage. His upside, his production metrics would not have been the same. But you really had to get him with the right marriage, and that makes sense with wide receivers, right? So you got him with a Josh Allen, which is probably the perfect quarterback for him. The perfect pair, the perfect tandem. A quarterback that likes to push it downfield. He's got his wide receiver. So the upside of, and the chances of him hitting his upside has increased immensely. And we could see that year one, year two. I say somewhere between now and year three, you're going to see him explode. And if he doesn't, you're going to know quick. That's when he's not on the field. No sight, no sound. 
if he's on the field running routes, seeing some targets, he's going to start to really jump there in production, especially with the Buffalo Bills. If you want to talk about fantasy football, redraft-wise is another lottery ticket, another guy you're drafting in the back middle of your fantasy draft, and he's a lottery ticket that you're turning and burning with that we talk with at nauseum throughout the fantasy draft season, throughout the fantasy season, because we like to talk about lottery tickets because everybody else is talking about everything else that most people talk about. But he's a good lottery ticket, and lottery ticket fantasy assets are good to have on the back end of your roster. And if you're looking at him in Dynasty, back into the first round, maybe early second, really depends on how your draft goes, how they're valuing the running backs, how they're valuing the other wide receivers. And his price tag is still a little bit up there, but it's kind of discounted too, considering the market of the other wide receivers, and it really depends on what your draft is doing. That's one QB, that's two QB, super flex. He's up there. I think the fact that he's paired with Josh Allen, the fact that you're going to see him get a lot of air yards, I think that's going to hold value. I think daily fantasy football, early in his career, you're going to be taking shots with him. He's going to start off very cheap. You're going to throw him in some lineups, and you're going to build around that with higher-priced players, higher-priced veterans who are more stable. And you're going to hope he brings in a couple deep balls. That's where I'm really excited about him. Actually, now that I think about daily fantasy football, we're a few weeks into the season. He's on the field. He's seeing some snaps. He's getting some targets. And you know he's getting it deep. We know that. That's in the profile. That being said, he's going to be a cheaper option. You slide him into that lineup. And then you get your trusty veteran wide receivers, running backs, quarterbacks to build around that. Maybe have some stacks with some bills and some run backs with the other team if you want to do it that way. But a million different ways you can build depending on if you're playing tournament or cash. I'm a tournament player. I talk tournaments. And a player like this, when you're trying to be a contrarian early in his career while he's cheap before we know anything about him, I'm going to slide him in a few lineups just to play around, just to see if I can get lucky, and that's for sure. And I'm going to be looking at a lot of other rookie run, run, wide receivers and running backs because of that, because that could happen in the price tag. And if I hit on that one player and then those other veterans just do what they usually do, that could work out for me. Plus, I'm doing so many lineups that as long as I don't have an overexposure, an overexposure in my portfolio to one player like that, then it shouldn't hurt me too much if the inevitable does happen. But Keon Coleman, Bills fans, you got a wide receiver here with a lot of upside, very sticky hands. He's going to pair well with this system. He's going to pair well with Josh Allen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.